Today I am going to rant about knives. I have something that occasionally bugs me, and I know it bugs you too. And that is when you absolutely love a knife, but there's just one thing about it that you can't stand. So either you never end up getting the knife, or you have it and you get rid of it, you trade it, you sell it. Whatever the case may be, it's like you love everything about it, but there's always that one thing. It happens quite often to a lot of different people. For me, recently, it's this one. This is a Kaiser, uh, I want to say it's a Bantam. But uh, I love everything about this knife, except for one thing. And it drives me nuts, and I really wish this one thing was just a little bit different so I can enjoy the knife. For me, in this particular case, it's this right here. This flipper that turns into the guard on this particular knife, because of the size of my hands, because of the size of this knife, renders this knife completely unusable to me, okay? It's just because it's uncomfortable. If you don't have a comfortable knife in the hand, you're just not gonna use it. Uh, and obviously, if you have some choices, you're gonna leave the ones you don't like aside. So, let's uh, start from the beginning here. You can see this kind of unique upswept flipper. Works fine as a flipper. I don't think it's necessary to be so pointed like that. You know, it's almost like a horn. It's totally unnecessary. I mean, obviously there's hundreds of different flipper designs by now and most of them work fine, but occasionally I run across one that I just don't like. And this particular one is that case where as a flipper, it's okay, it's not bad. I usually push it inward as opposed to pulling down on it. Um, it gives me the best, you know, action and obviously builds up a little bit of pressure there before it pops out. But even if, like, if I wanted to hook down, it seems to be a little bit on the pointy side of things. So maybe a little uncomfortable if I were to like sweep it open like that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Opening it, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. But once it's open, because this is a little bit of a smaller knife, and because I have a little bit larger hands, my finger, my pointer finger, gets jammed right up in this crevice here. Now, obviously, we have a fine finger choil here. And this hooks down, normally that would be okay, but because this happens to have some jimping on there, it, it just is very uncomfortable. I just can't help but notice it. There's nice uh, a secondary finger troil here, like a groove. So my middle finger naturally fits right into that piece. And I can get the uh, other two fingers in there as well, but it's just, it's always this choked up position, specifically because it's a smaller knife. Now, I have kind of backed off on this a little bit, and when it's not touching my finger, it's great, it's fine, but I'm purposely backing up. And because it's a smaller knife, it feels weird for me to choke down on it when what I want to do is get more grip. I want to get a full grip on this when I'm using it. So yeah, I mean, I love everything about this knife. I think it's pretty cool, nice pop of color with the uh, anodizing. It's this nice kind of like lighter blue color. Uh, pocket clip is good on this one to me. The texturing is just awesome. It's very, very well finished. You know, smooth around the edges. S35VN, I like the blade style, just everything about it. Except for this flipper that turns into the guard, which by the way, I think is kind of ugly. I think it, I mean, especially since we're talking about it, if you're focused on that now, it doesn't look like a big old honker. It's like someone with a beautiful face and a huge nose. I suppose I could modify it, I don't like modifying knives. Uh, I mean, if I don't like it, I pass them on. I trade them off usually. If I were to keep this, a less extreme option would be to just grind down or sand off the jimped part of that. A more extreme case would be to chop off the end, the actual hooked part of it. All right, so it looked, if I put my finger there, it looked more like that, almost like a flat edge that comes across. That would probably solve the problem. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. This particular Kaiser, uh, same exact design. However, because it's a larger knife, I don't have an issue with it. Works fine as a flipper. And guess what? I got a full grip and there's a gap there. So I don't have the issue with this one because it's a much larger handle. Well, both these knives, by the way. So it's not so much specifically about this knife. I don't even know if they're still in production, the Bantam. Uh, but it's more so just a general, you know, observation that it really stinks when you love everything about a knife except for one particular detail. I love everything about this knife except for that. Don't like that. 
So I want you guys to tell me, and I know this has happened to pretty much all of you out there, if you've had a couple knives in your life before, there's something, a knife you liked, but there was something that kept you from carrying it or kept you from buying it. You know, um, for a lot of people, it's blade steel. I know people get very hung up on blade steel. It's like, oh, I love that new knife. Oh, what? What? What are they using? Uh, nope, can't do it. You know, or maybe it's the lock type. I love that knife, but I am not a liner lock guy, or I, I don't like lockbacks, you know. Um, it could be anything. It could be a slew of different things, but I get a lot of messages from people specifically about that type of stuff. Hey, and, and more so when I'm doing trades, too. Like, I'll be, uh, you know, someone will offer me a knife for a trade, and I'll be like, oh, it's a really nice knife. What didn't you like about it, or why are you getting rid of it? And sometimes I ask. I don't usually ask. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much, but occasionally I'll get curious, especially if it's a nice knife, and... And so I'd be like, yeah, I really love it, but not into that steel, or I really liked it, but it felt a little uncomfortable in my pinky, or whatever the case may be. Oh, it's great, but the pocket clip stinks. So many different things. Oh, that's another great example just popped in my head, speaking of pocket clips. Cold steel. I love so many cold steel knives, but half of them have such a short, super, super stiff, stiff clip, and it's like impossible to use. And I've talked to people, same deal. Love the knife, can't do the clip. Just, it's a deal breaker. So that's what this video is really about, our deal breakers when it comes to knives. I'd love to hear, you know, what your guys' gripes are on certain knives that you want to love, but you just can't. There's knives that, are, that perform amazing, but people just think they're ugly. You know, there's always something that keeps you from enjoying a knife or carrying it or using it, or like I said, even buying it in the first place. So yeah, if there's something that's happened to you lately, let me know down in the comments. Just kind of curious, but this has been my latest kind of gripe. Did a trade for this, love the knife carried it, used it, immediately went like, oh no, you know. Uh, just casually holding it, it's not that big of a deal, but when you start using it, you, my grip anyway, I mean, it, it kind of tightens up. I want to choke up on the knife and get a real good control on there and just cutting some cardboard, I just felt it, it's just rubbing on my, you know, my finger here with that jimping, it was, just, it was uncomfortable, just couldn't do it. And I'm not gonna go out of my way to choke down on it to use it, I don't have to, that's the point. You know, if it was my only knife, then yeah, I would. Or I'd modify it, but. Yeah, everything else is very cool about it, though. So anyone who follows me on Instagram, you'll probably see this one uh, either for trade or up for sale or something. But yeah, just curious as to your guys' recent or latest gripes or hang-ups on certain knives. So let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you soon. Well, as soon as tomorrow.